hello guys welcome once again in the last video I have shown you how to update or edit your data from your C sharp application to your MySQL database in this video we will see how to delete the data from the database using your C sharp application so for that I will need a button so I will drag and drop a button here and I will change its text and I will write here delete so I change the text of my button and I change it as delete now select save button or update button and double click it and copy the code which I have shown you in the last two videos because we are going to use this code same code to delete the data we just need to change the query for deleting the data so from this string to the end of this catch block just copy the code which I have shown you in the save button code also and update button code also in the last two videos so if you don't know this code just watch the last two videos and then you know what is this code so just copy this and now select your delete button and double click it and here you will reach to the event of the delete button here just paste the same code which you have copied and in here all the code will remain same from string to the end of catch block we are just going to change this query so instead of update we will write delete from your database name dot your table name so in my mysql database this is my database name and this is my table name so write this delete from database dot table and write instead of set write where your employee ID is equal to this so and the rest of the code we don't need so we will delete it okay so we just need to pass this query delete from your database name dot e data where your EID which is my column name of employee ID is equal to single quote double quote plus sign and in between you will pass this dot the text box name of employee ID which is this text box name dot text and this double quote close and single quote close so just copy this code and if you want to delete your data on the basis of your name or surname just change it this with your column name and the text field name just change these two things and instead of here, here show message updated I'll write deleted so I will know my data is deleted so this is the code for deleting the data let's try and run the program first of all login login is successful and second form is opened now I will open the database and I will show you how I want to delete the data so for example in my database I have 10 entries 
and I want to enter uh, delete this tenth entry of mark so I will write 10 I don't need to enter the rest of the text because I am deleting the data on the basis of the employee ID okay so I'm just I will press this delete button and you will see data is deleted let's check if data is really deleted so I will refresh my database and yes it's deleted now once again for example I want to delete employee ID 9 so I will write 9 here I will press delete and data is deleted I will refresh my database and you will see it's deleted so in this way you can delete your data with the help of your c-sharp application i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now